Chris Wheeler, Torch Relay Reporter, and I'm in Vancouver right now, and I'm going to hop onto a float plane and cruise over to Victoria, British Columbia to see some of the Paralympic Torch Relay as it enters into BC. We've landed in Victoria, and now I'm off to see the Norwegian Wheelchair Curling Team. I'm Geirarne Skogstad. I'm the second player on the national team from Norway. I'm here in Victoria to practice before the Paralympic Games. Wheelchair curling uh, works like uh, regular curling. The same rules, the same sheet, the same stones. It's only difference that we don't sweep and we use this stick to deliver the stone. I'm trying some wheelchair curling with the Norwegian team. Uh, let's, let's give it a go. That's gonna be a nice car. So, supposedly I threw a nice guard. I was actually going for the middle. <laughs> I wasn't very close to the middle, but it's going to be a guard, so yeah. thank you. Now off to see the Paralympic Torch Relay. So the flame has left Esquimalt, now it's traveling by Navy boat, being passed off to a Dragon boat and paddled right into downtown Victoria for a celebration. Out here today, a gorgeous sunny Victoria day, we were uh, on the water with a team of uh, Dragon boaters from the Navy. Great opportunity to have something like the Paralympic Torch Relay here in Victoria. You know, it's just awesome to be here in Victoria touching the Paralympic torch to remind people that these are one games, Olympic and Paralympic games, uh, two events, but we don't see any difference between Olympic athletes and Paralympic athletes. They're just athletes demonstrating excellence, and that's the values of our country, an accessible and inclusive one where everyone can reach their full potential. to be the last person on the leg of the Paralympic Torch Relay and I get to go light the cauldron and I'm so excited. 